but it takes huge effort with a lion as heavy as a refrigerator around his neck and eight more straining at his rump. He needs help. His thick skin can't shield him indefinitely. One juvenile tears at his anus. Another tries to snap his tendons. The lions are pulling him apart. At last, the reinforcements arrive. And then, disaster. The herd spooks. Abandoned by his tribe, Big Bull collapses. The lions are on him like ants. Teeth and claws pierce every inch of his body to pin him down. Alone and upside down, he's at his most vulnerable. He lacks the strength or flexibility to right himself. But he's not alone. His battalion didn't withdraw. The group displays the greatest quality of buffaloes. Strength in unity. It takes the threat of being gored to move the lions. Big Bull isn't quick enough to leave with his comrades. He calls them back. The lions have not surrendered. His bachelor clan responds immediately, and Big Cow also joins the vanguard. This time, their advance is decisive. They bulldoze the lions away. Big Bull, a brave leader, is snatched from the jaws of death and returns to the ranks. Lion and Buffalo compete for survival on the African grassland. The big cat's aggression and strategy is matched by the bovine's brute force and collaborative strength. Qualities honed over time in an evolutionary blood feud. This buffalo herd fends off relentless attacks from the resident lion pride, but they give as good as they get. Bitter envy escalates them beyond mere predator or prey. They are blood rivals. On the grasslands, breakfast is never a long, drawn-out affair. The killers usually track the breeding herd by dawn. Big Cow learned long ago to watch for danger while she eats. And the grunts and croaks confirm the all clear from the rest of the females and subadults. Big Cow is one of six females with a high status. These senior cows walk at the front of the 400 strong herd and choose where to graze. It's an easy decision in the wet season. A myriad of pools and marshes pop up after the rains. Food and drink literally cover the grasslands. Just as well, because buffaloes consume a lot. In a day, one buffalo 
can eat enough grass to clear a front yard. Their home is a utopia, except for the resident lion pride. False alarm. It's only Big Bull and the Bachelor clan. These hefty males boost the practical defense of the ranks. They only join the breeding herd occasionally, on the lookout for mating opportunities. They're also here for the food. Buffaloes are specialist grazers. Their top front teeth are missing replaced by a hard, horny pad for the lower teeth to bite against. But these bachelors are not showing off their dental anatomy. They're checking for receptive females. This lip curl pulls air over an organ that detects hormonal cues if a cow is in heat. There'll be no more flirting or feeding. The enemy pride is here. Big Cow alerts the herd. It's not a crisis yet. The lionesses only watch and wait. The core herd moves off. Big Cow and the senior females stand guard. They know these lions. Big Cow's had nine seasons to study their tactics. The slightest movement signals the hunt. The herd responds immediately. They must get the calves away from the lions. They'll be safe in the center of the herd. One mother is late to corral her youngster, but she doesn't fight solo for long. She can rely on her tribe. The cows rally, and the lionesses scatter. The attack is just beginning. The bulls rush to defend the eastern front. It's the pride's M.O. to advance on all sides. Big Bull doesn't just wait. The bush stinks of lions. He takes the fight to them. His unexpected charge can buy some time for the herd. He's seen too many comrades taken by these buffalo killers. The resident pride is a formidable adversary. Four juveniles support the core hunting unit of five lionesses. And they're led by a powerful coalition of brothers in the prime of their lives. The attack will come. Big Bull just delays the inevitable. He rejoins the herd to band with his tribe against the onslaught. The Buffalo's united front is their key play against the Lions. The pesky juvenile sets Big Bull off again. This retaliation triggers a response. When all 11 lions advance, it's game on. A contest with deadly consequences. Big Bull is after blood. And the tribe follows his lead. Their dance macabre conjures silhouettes of dust devils. The K-9 
chaos and confusion gives the killers an opportunity. It's often the youngest that suffer. Too small to understand strategy. But the buffaloes are not the only losers. This juvenile will carry these battle scars forever. Enemies face off daily. It's the price the buffaloes pay for access to water and sweet grasses. Predator and prey share this territory. The best the buffaloes can do is to minimize their losses. And make it as hard as possible for the killers. Danger and death define their lives. And things are about to get worse. When the dry season hits, the sun sucks water from the grasslands. A crisis for buffaloes that must drink once a day. The choice is simple. Migrate or die. Uncommon for buffaloes, this breeding herd journeys to a permanent water hole, a full day's walk away. The mass exodus takes them out of the lion's territory, but it's a hollow victory, because here the herd risks death by starvation. Water brings immediate relief. But life at the waterhole quickly becomes a compromise between food and drink. As the days pass, the area all around is quickly overgrazed and the herd travels farther and farther away to find enough food for 400 hungry bellies. It's a balancing act for big cow and the females to schedule enough time to eat, walk, and drink. This bleak oasis has been their annual pit stop for generations. It's the only one with enough water for them all. An adult buffalo drinks 10 gallons every 24 hours. So in one week, this thirsty herd can empty a swimming pool. Beyond the reach of the predators, the mothers are visibly relaxed. Bad times are coming, so they make the most of it now. Even Big Cow enjoys some personal time. Back on the grassland, 25 miles away, there's no rest for the killers. They are searching for food. The migration of the breeding herd robs them of their easy meals. Now, they take what they can get. Something looks interesting. Closer inspection reveals a windfall. The Bachelor Clan. <laughs> 